Hey guys, it's Bo Beatty with Llama Life. Thanks for watching another episode here today. So today we're going to start a new playlist and the playlist is going to be based upon everything to do with bear hangs, bear storage, and uh, since we live in the greater Yellowstone area and we work and play in the greater Yellowstone area, it's a really important thing, something that we see often done wrong. And so um, to, to help people and to kind of show our guides and people down the road that we come in contact with, we really want to kind of go through the different aspects of bear hangs and bear storage. So we're going to go over all the different gear and equipment. We're going to go over the rope, different types of rope you can use. We're going to go over how to coil your rope um, in the playlist. And also the most important thing is we're going to go over three types of bear hangs. We're going to go over ultralight backpacking hangs, um, the PCT, me PCT method. Then we're going to go over the alternate PCT method. And then the last method, one which we call um, the outfitter method, has three different styles. And so we're going to go through basically five to six different styles of doing bear hangs and so that when you go out in the backcountry that you can decide which gear and equipment you're going to be needing and then what style of bear hang that, or food storage you're going to be using. And many of the national parks in the United States and also uh, Forest Service districts and BLM districts, they require you to have uh, food storage um, or to use bear hangs of some kind. And so it's a really important thing to know how to learn how to do, especially if you're going into the backcountry or base camping in national parks. Um, it helps protect our bears. It is also a great safety uh, mechanism for you. And so that from one camp, one camper to the next camper using the same campsite, if everyone is following the rules and regulations and doing their best to provide quality bear hangs and food, for, food storage requirements, it just helps protect everyone that's visiting the area. And also it's really, really important for protecting the bears. As the bears get habituated to human food coming into campsites um, and finding and getting some kind of reward from being in that campsite, whether it's a poorly hung uh, bear hang and they actually get to eat whatever somebody left over or didn't hang properly, or if they get stuff laying around camp or if there's food left in the fire. So whatever it is, when bears get rewarded, they get habituated to that and they keep coming back looking for that reward, which can be very, very dangerous for both the bear and the humans that are gonna come next visiting that area or that campsite. So it's really important um, to be a good steward of the land and to show good practices and backcountry ethics by having good bear hangs and proper food storage while in the backcountry. So it's a really important subject for us. We're excited to go over it. It's the middle of winter here. It's freezing cold. We're bundled up and we're going to try to bring some uh, good content to you guys regarding bear hangs and food storage.